Hi guys, I'm Jeff with the Caddy Shack. Today we're going to talk about the Igniter 3 product from Pertronics. This product just came out. It's a really, really super neat distributor. It has a lot, a lot of great features. We're going to show you how we install it. We're going to show you some things about it, what's involved with it, and um, talk about the features that it has. First of all, it comes in the billet model, as the other Pertronics do. Uh, which is really super neat. You can change all sorts of uh, springs and stoppers and, and custom curvy distributors, which we do on high performance engines like this one. It also comes in a 009 style or the popular SVDA style distributor. Uh, let's pop the cap off this real quick so we can see inside. Cap, rotor, dust cover comes off. The igniter 3 is inside here. Um, the module here. This is where we adjust our digital rev limiter. Super easy. I'll show you how to do it on the engine that's on the engine stand. This is our indicator light. Um, super easy, super accessible, neat product. Uh, this distributor comes with, the distributor itself comes with multiple sparks. In the past, we've had to have, we've had to have install a separate box to have multiple sparks to ignite. The, the flame as good as this thing does. It's all built right into the distributor on this one. It has a digital rev limiter which we'll go through how to install or how to set up. Um, and another really nice thing about this, and I know nobody's ever done this, if you accidentally hook the positive and negative wires up backwards, this has a reverse circuit protection feature already into it. So you won't cook your distributor by doing that. Now, it has variable dwell, which means it will vary the dwell and the timing according to uh, your, the curve and how many RPMs you're running at. Uh, it's compatible with a 60,000 volt coil, most other coils. Uh, this particular one is the Pertronics HC coil, the high capacity coil. Um, this is 60,000 volts and will provide up to four times more spark energy to the spark plugs than standard coil with standard points. So really, really super neat. Uh, right now, we're going to take the cap off, which I've already loosened the screws. So let me put that over there. And um, normally, this is going to be installed in a car for most guys. If you're building an engine on an engine stand, uh, you can actually program this with a 9-volt battery. If it's installed in the car, all the wires are hooked up already, you have a 12 volt source, make it super simple to adjust. We are going to hook this up to our 9 volt battery with a couple test leads and alligator clips. Ding! On a good day, These, the alligators are fighting. Um, we're going to install that one to the positive terminal. This other alligator clip will go to the distributor housing to provide a ground. We will hook the ground to the battery. And we will hook the positive to the 9 volt battery. Okay. When we do this, we'll insert the screwdriver. Maybe we can get a good shot of that. And we'll turn this clockwise and counterclockwise three times. Maybe. Maybe I don't have a good enough connection. Let's try that again. Okay, until we get a light. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, this indicator light, what this does is telling us is where the RPM range is set for the digital rev limiter. This adjustment screw adjusts the RPM range for that. Each time this light blinks once, if it blinks, if the it blinks two series of blinks. There's a long blink and a short blink. The long blink tells you how many thousands of RPMs it is set at. The short blink tells us how many hundreds of RPMs it's set at. So if we want to set it at 5,700 RPMs, we would adjust the screw to where it is five long blinks followed immediately by seven short blinks. That makes sense? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and set this up here again. 
Um, it is adjustable, by the way, from 4,000 RPMs to 9,000 RPMs, which will cover most VW engines that we're going to encounter. Let's study the blinks here. One long blink. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, series of six long blinks and six short blinks indicates that this is set at 6,600 RPM. Now, if we want to adjust that down, we simply move this counterclockwise and it will give us less. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, five. Okay, so now it's set at 4,500 RPMs. We'll continue adjusting this until we're totally happy to wear the um, RPM range is set for, to protect our engine. When we're done, we simply remove power from it or we turn the key off and it's set. And it's done. It will not move. It's set to where it's supposed to be set. Uh, the RPMs, uh, when this, the rev limiter does uh, rev your limit, basically it cuts spark and it cuts spark to the various terminals on the cap. Um, and it alternates the terminals until the spark completely goes away to protect your engine. Even on stock engines, and you can, if you're out there racing around, and we do, you're out there racing around, or you're in the water box, and you, your adrenaline is going, maybe you've revved that thing a little higher than you would want to rev it. This is going to protect your engine, which is a very costly expense, from over revving it from your foot. If you miss a shift, uh, if you're on the track, if you're in the dirt, um, this is going to protect your engine. Then really super nice thing about the Igniter 3 is that it's 40 bucks more than the Igniter 1. All of these additional features and for 40 bucks. I, there's just no way you can go wrong with this. We're super excited about it and Petronix has done a terrific job with this. Thanks for in, uh, joining us. Um, Again, I'm Jeff with the Caddyshack, and we will see you at the track.